Hello YouTube, Jose Carlos back with another video for JPAD TV and I also want to start this video today by saying that um, now that we have a little bit more followers we're getting close to almost 900 uh, followers which is really exciting uh, never thought we can get there this quick I made a uh, Instagram page for the uh, channel the name of the Instagram page is JPAD TV official so what I would like to do with that page is that um, anything that you learn from the channel or any jobs that you're doing or you pass by a job, anything you have accomplished, uh, I would like for you to send me pictures, send me your name, your uh, Instagram handle and stuff like that and I can tag you and we can just post those pictures with your tag onto the page. Also I will be posting some of my uh, pictures if, if I do some jobs or maybe some jobs that I did in the past I would also be doing uh, posting pictures, pictures for like the videos, letting you guys know when there's a new video on the channel, that way you can keep keep up and for today's video as you can see right here we have a what is called a reducing T which is a smaller T going into a bigger pipe it's also one of the most requested videos that you guys have been waiting for so here it is and the tools we're gonna need for today's video are measuring tape something to write with a pair of dividers metal scissors or metal shears circumference ruler straight edge square and our bander so the first step we're gonna do here it's we're gonna measure the size of our pipes so we're gonna measure the smaller pipe first which in this case it's 21 and a quarter and for our bigger pipe we have 31 inches once you have your measurements next step we're doing is we're gonna draw a square Next, using your circumference ruler and your dividers, you're going to open your dividers into half of the smaller pipe's measurement, which was 21 and a quarter. So half of 21 and a quarter will be 10 and 5 eighths. Next step, using your dividers, you're going to draw a quarter circle from one end of, one end of the square to the other end. Next step, without adjusting your dividers, we're going to divide the circle in half. So to divide, to divide it in half, we're going to use one end where both lines meet. And we're going to draw a line. And then we're going to do the same thing over here on the other side. And we're both, you're going to mark where both lines meet, that will be half of our circle. Next step, using a ruler, we're going to mark where both marks meet. We're going to draw a line across to the end of the square. Now circle is divided in half. Again, without adjusting your dividers, we're going to divide this half into half again. So we're going to do the same steps. Now you trace your line. Now using our dividers, we're going to adjust them to where the two first lines meet with the circle. And that way we're going to mark our last line. Okay, so now we basically divided our circle into five parts. <coughs> Next step we're going to do is we're going to draw a separate square over here on another piece of metal that you have or if you have an extra space you can just draw it somewhere else. Okay. 
now using our dividers using the same measurement that we use to divide our circle into five we're gonna draw five points onto the bottom line of the square There you go, you have one, two, three, four, five. Now using our square, we're gonna draw lines going vertically where the line crosses the point. So here we have our five lines. Next step we're gonna do is we're gonna draw the five lines that run vertically where the circle is divided into five. So there goes our five lines. One, two, three, four, five. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna adjust our dividers to half of the measurement of the bigger pipe, which in this case it was 31 inches. So half of 31 will be 15 and a half. So using our circumference ruler, we should be able to adjust it and as you can see, I already have it here to 15 and a half. Now next step, using the, the dividers, I usually leave about an inch at the, at the end. We're gonna mark a line from the first line all the way to wherever it crosses the, the last line. So hopefully you're able to see this line right here. So you see that there's like half a moon from this line it crosses all the lines all the way to the end right here where they meet. So now using our square we're going to draw another horizontal line running across on this end. You can probably leave it about an inch from the last where, it, where this half circle crosses the last line. You can probably leave it about an inch. So once you have your line running across here, as you see right here, I traced over the line just to make it easier for you to see on the video. And basically what we're gonna do now is we're gonna transfer wherever the, the lines meet here, we're gonna transfer it to the other square, wherever they meet on each line. And at the end of this step, we should be able to have our pattern for our reducing T. So in order to do the next step, we're gonna adjust our dividers to every place that the lines meet. As you see now, I have the five lines where they crossed on this end. So basically what you're doing is from this line, wherever it crosses to the first line, you transfer it here. Second line, wherever it crosses the circle, you transfer it. Third line, same thing, transfer it. Fourth line, transfer. Fifth line, transfer. So wherever they cross, you just make a mark. Now using something bendable, uh, in this case I'm going to use a circumference ruler, but you can use anything you can find. Uh, we're going to connect each point together so it's pretty much connect the dots and we should have our pattern finished. Now that we have our pattern complete, next thing we're going to do using our scissors, we're going to cut it out. Now 
Next, using a piece of metal that's supposed to go around the smaller pipe, we're going to trace our pattern four times to be able to get our T. And like I said before on other videos, I recommend you starting with the throat first, which will be your bigger side, and then you can end at the peak. And as you can see now, we have the shape of our T here. So the next step, we're just going to cut it out. So here's our T. Now that we already have our T cut, using our bands and our bender, we're going to install it. So there we have our finished tee. As you can see, to make the pattern and to do all the steps, it's a little bit confusing. But with some practice, you should be able to get, get it little by little. But when you install your tee, make sure that you're able to get as close as possible all the way around. That way, if you need to use any caulking or, or any kind of sealing, it will be minimal. I know sometimes the pipes are a little bit off shape and stuff, so you can kind of throw off your uh, your T pattern, but just tighten it as much as you can with your bender or as much as you're able to, and uh, you should be good. So if you enjoyed the video and you learned something here today, please don't forget to give us a like. Also, if you have any comments, please leave it on, on the section below. And don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notifications every time we post a new video on the channel. Also, don't forget to follow the Instagram page for our channel. It will be on the link in the description. And thank you for watching.